Okay then, average bond enthalpies. Well, everything has to be a gas, otherwise you can't use this method. But let me just uh, sketch out this little reactant turning to products diagram. All right then, so for the reactants, we're gonna have to break those bonds apart. And if I'm gonna break those bonds apart, I'm gonna need to put energy in to bond break those reactants. And putting energy in is endothermic, and delta H is plus. As energy is removed from the environment, it feels colder. So that's endothermic, it feels colder. That's supposed to be a snowman. It looks more like a duck. So as I break those bonds, I had to put in energy, which is gonna reduce the energy of the surroundings. It's gonna feel colder, it's endothermic, delta H is plus. Now the opposite is true for making the products. When I'm making the products, I'm bond making. And that releases energy. And releasing energy is called exothermic and delta H is negative and that feels hot. The surroundings gets hotter as energy is released. So I've made those lines red to show that I'm releasing energy there. So if more energy is involved to make bonds than break bonds, and don't forget making releases heat and breaking or well, that uh, absorbs heat so it feels cold. Then overall for the reaction, delta H is negative. It's gonna be exothermic because there's more energy involved with releasing energy than taking it in. And the contrary is true. If there's less energy, then it's gonna be endothermic, less energy required to make them break. It's gonna be endothermic. It's gonna feel cold. So let's look at the example of methane burning completely in oxygen. Well, methane's a fuel, so this has to be overall exothermic. It makes carbon dioxide and water. Oh, hold on, I thought everything was supposed to be a gas. So isn't water a liquid? No, nope, we're gonna assume that water's a gas. It's just come from a, a combustion reaction. It's very hot, must be over 100 degrees. All right, on the left-hand side, we have the reactants, and I'm gonna put energy in to break those bonds. I'm gonna break those four carbon-hydrogen bonds and those two oxygen-oxygen double bonds. I've had to put energy in from the environment, so it's gonna feel cold. Energy's been removed from the environment. That is endothermic, to break bonds. And by making those bonds in the product side, that releases energy. When you make bonds, it releases energy back into the surroundings, the environment, if you will. And so delta H is gonna be negative there. Now, overall, this must be exothermic. So the bond breaking part, the bit that's cold, must be smaller than the bond making part, the bit that is hot. So overall, delta H must be negative for this reaction. It must be exothermic, it must be hot. Okay, let's use a quantitative example. Let's put some numbers in. So that's copyright of the IB. Please don't sue me, I'm just trying to help. And so the hydrogenation of ethine is shown below. Calculate delta H, still copyright. Using table 10 from the data booklet. Well, you've got to know where the double bonds, the single bonds and everything is, otherwise you're not gonna be able to work this out properly. Now, if you've not done organic, you might not know yet, but uh, you should be able to work it out from the Lewis structures. Okay, so that's the breaky side and that's the makey side. You have to break them up into atoms and then put them back together again to make the product. So I've got two carbon hydrogen bonds, so that's two times 413. And I've got a triple bond, which is one times 838. All of these are plus because I'm breaking bonds. I have to put in energy, they're endothermic. So breaking stuff requires energy, positive. So on the reactant sides, the numbers are plus. Just pop the units in there. And there's two hydrogen hydrogen bonds, so that's two times 436, that's a common mistake to miss those, uh, the fact that you need double the bond here, because there's two of them. And again, that's plus, we're gonna break those bonds apart, kilojoules per mole. And on the makey side, well, making bonds is exothermic, energy's released. So I have to make sure it's a negative. 
which I'm going to put in in a second. Making bonds is negative, releases energy. So I'm going to put those negatives in, smashing. So now I have the energy change for each side of that equation. And the trick is now is to sum those numbers. But my teacher says do it a different way. Do it a different way then. This is the way I do it. Sum those numbers up. And that gives you delta H for that equation. In this case, minus 289 kilojoules per mole. There's more makey than breaky. Now, you can't put that for the IB. In this case, it might be true, but you can't use those words. That's silly. So what will they accept? Better to say, more energy released than absorbed. So overall, it's exothermic. And your assumptions are everything's a gas and it's a STP.